Fathers, we got him, we got him, we got him, and we're going to go right to him right now with Christ in action. Hey, good morning, Pastor. Good morning. All right, all right. Good to hear your voice. Yes, sir. Well, we know it's a marvelous Monday, and uh, yeah, we can right. that out. You should be right there. So, hey, hey, that's what it is. And, man, it's just good to hear your voice. And I, I tell you what, I know you got something for the people. I'm just going to gonna just go to the quiet side and let me you take it right now with Christ in action. All right. Hey, running a little behind schedule today, but... It's still good news that we're sharing, and we're excited to share it. And we celebrate with everyone who came out to be with us this weekend for the grand opening, made some new friends, and greeted some old friends, and uh, just excited that we're able to connect with you. Well, we shared connected living as we're talking about manifesting and how important and key, in fact, critical, the only way for us to truly be fruitful in our design and life as God intended is by our living connection with our Lord Jesus Christ. In St. John chapter 15, verse 1, he said, I am the true vine. My father is the husband, the farmer, the vine dresser. And he says, you are the branches. And so we see in this design, the connected design of God for us, that he planted Christ in this world, sent him into this world, not to condemn us, but that we through him might be saved, saved from, yes, our separation is from him and the sin that had overtaken us and the death as a result of it, but to live, you know, the God's design for Christ is uh, to make us alive, to bring us to life and to fruitfulness as we live a life that is connected to him as the true vine. You know, in life, there are many, many things that we will become connected with or are tempted to be connected with, but the most vital link that you'll ever develop in life is a consistent uh, walk with Christ. He called it abiding in him. As he goes in this discourse, he says, abide in me. And, uh, if you abide in me, then you will bear much fruit, and so you will be my disciples. You see, God is so uh, so uh, committed to your fruitfulness, your flourishing in life. God wants you to flourish, flourish spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, and socially. And that link with Christ is what empowers you every day. When you are linked with Christ, you can say with the Apostle Paul, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because the relationship of the vine and the branch is that the vine pushes all that is in itself through the branches that cause it to be fruitful and to manifest and represent it in every fashion and every way. So it is with Christ as we are connected with him eternally. He causes us to be fruitful and we don't have to do it alone. We do it because he is in us. We're in him and we're fruitful because of him. Well, this has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond where the dream of change is alive and Jesus our joy. Because together, you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. Hey, great seeing you this weekend. We look forward to seeing you again next weekend. Hey, stay tuned. But That's good news on this marvelous Monday. Yes, yes, yes. Driving it home, Pastor. Driving it home. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family and all that you do. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, Pastor. All right. Indeed, friend. Uh, strengthening. If you're not connected to Christ, you know, all you need to do 
is to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. It says in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believing in your heart that God sent him into this world and he died for your sins, that he rose again to justify you. Embrace him and what he has done for you. And uh, from your heart, confessing it with your mouth. And that connection is established. Once that connection is established, every single day, acknowledge him in all your ways. Call upon him. That's how you abide in him. You stay continually in communication, speaking and sharing your life with him, doing life with him and inviting him into every part of your life and being every day. He'll do it, strengthen you, empower you, and bring out of you all that he wants for you as he himself flows into your life and causes you to be fruitful and flourish. All right, so glad to see you this weekend. Thank you so for much for coming by. Uh, and uh, we look forward to uh, now that we're open and we have our grand opening uh, at the Connect Center, 5650 Sanderson Street, uh, Sweet R, Huntsville, 80, Huntsville, Alabama, 8035805. We're just so glad that you uh, are connected with us. All right, well, remember this, God loves himself and you, and we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Until next time, have a great day on purpose on this marvelous Monday.